So the things you're going to need are 100% pure acetone. And this is just what it looks like. It has to be 100% pure acetone because you want to clean the nail bed before you put any kind of uh, nail polish on top. Otherwise, it's not going to stick correctly. And then some cotton balls. I have a very fine buffer just to buff off any kind of oils that are stuck to your fingernails. And then you're going to need a UV gel base coat. The gel color that you want, this is by Shellac and it's called Tutti Fruity. And then, oops. And then you're also going to need a Shellac. Uh, UV top coat. You're also going to need a uh, UV gel uh, light to cure the nail polishes. This is the one that I'm using. It is just, it's called Star Pro. It's a 36 watt UV lamp. 36 watt. And this is the first time that I've actually used this, so. Um, I kind of like it. It kind of seems like it takes a little while longer to cure the nails than it normally should. But um, it comes with a 90 second switch and, and also a 120 second switch. And then a little red uh, button to push everything or to start it. Right there. And then here is the switch to go back and forth. And yeah, push to start. So I'm gonna get started on my mom's other hand. So first I'm just gonna take the acetone and the cotton ball and just make sure there's nothing on her nail. I'm even putting the acetone around the skin because you really wanna kinda dry it out so there's no oils. And don't worry because uh, you can just put any kind of cuticle oil or hand lotion on afterward. And then I'm just going to take the buffer and lightly buff her nails. You only want to do this a little bit to get the nails ready for the gel polish. Just like that and then you can go back with the acetone to wipe off the residue that's left over from buffing the nail. Then I'm going to use the UV base coat. The brand is CND. Again, it's called Shellac. And um, I forget how much these run for. We I think we bought them from somewhere between $11 and $15. Um, so they can be pretty pricey. That's why these are more expensive when you get them in the salon. So just take the base coat and you want to apply it to all of the nails. You want to put a thin layer of the base coat. After about two minutes of curing, you're done with the base coat. Now you want to get your color and do one thin layer of the color on each nail. Once you've done the first coat of the color that you used, you want to cure the nails again for two minutes. This is what it looks like after it cures for two minutes. And that's just the first coat, so now we're going to do the second coat. So after the second coat, you want to put it back in the UV lamp for another two minutes. And now the last step is to add the top coat the UV gel CND top coat on all of the nails and then cure it again for two minutes and I'll come back and tell you what you need to do next. Okay, so here's how the nails look after you take them out of the UV light and the absolute last thing you wanna do, which I forgot to mention in the beginning, is take some alcohol. I just poured some alcohol in my little spray bottle um, and you wanna take some of that on cotton because you want to go over the nails with this, just rub it back and forth, because after you do the gel nails, there's a little tacky film that stays on top of the nails, and the only way to get that off is by using the alcohol. 
and you don't have to worry about it coming off because it's not going to take the nail polish off. It's just going to take off that tacky film that you don't want there. And that's it. And that's how you do gel nails. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.